Okay, hello. I uh, acquired this uh, Emacs Nanohawk 1S. Uh, we ended up with this little uh, micro thing, which is really cool. Um, flies really good. Uh, very fast. I did FPV a long time back uh, when it was kind of a newer thing. Quads were much bigger. Uh, everybody was doing like 250 racers. A lot of programming, not a lot of end results. It was way back in the days. Uh, got out of it, got back in. Now we like these little bitty ones. Um, I got this one and uh, put a message on... Uh, I had to end up getting some help from uh, the ELRS group on Facebook because uh, there's not a lot out there. And <laughs> I was hoping this video would end up better and I could point out exactly what I did, but I don't want to take this thing back apart. Uh, for one of these uh, that's supposed to be hobby grade, it's kind of a bugger to take apart. Like you got to pull everything off. Let me get something I can uh, point with here. Uh, you got to pull all the motors, like everything has to come apart to get under the canopy, to get to anything. Uh, so I'm gonna do the best I can to point. But what I did was this one was uh, the Free Sky. Uh, and in the description where it was bought, it said uh, Free Sky or FR Sky, whatever you wanna say, uh, D8 slash D16. And I thought, well, I've got, an old, I've got this old uh, X9D. Um, plus the 2019 one and uh, it's got uh, the D16 so it'll be good uh, it was not good what they don't tell you is it will only bind in D8 mode and if you've gone to uh, Edge TX uh, and you need to bind uh, something in D8 mode the best I can tell you is that you're in trouble this is the workaround I came up with well was the idea I had. I found one video with a guy saying, I did it and it worked. It was a pretty short video. He didn't show it working. Um, and, uh, but uh, the, he said, I did it and it worked. And I thought, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. I bought a little bitty uh, ELRS receiver. Not this exact one, it's the beta flight one. Uh, with the flat antenna. Uh, let me see if I can put that up there. I don't know if that'll focus. But uh, it's uh, these little tidy things. They fit under these canopies fine. Uh, and I ran into a bit of a trouble. A bit of trouble. Um, getting it to bind. Or not to bind. But kind of getting everything to work. Only to find out that I think out of the box. This one had issues. Uh, I don't think it would have flown good if I could have just got it to bind and fly like I was hoping to. I don't think it would have flown good. The flight controller was kind of not calibrated in the right orientation. Um, and the people in the ELRS group, even though that it wasn't that kind of issue, it was a flight controller issue, still helped me with it and talked me through it. And I want to say thanks for that. But I did want to say you can put these on there. Um, the wiring secret to it is find your five volts in your ground anywhere. And in the other video I found, I went on the logic that the man was so excited that it worked that he didn't realize he was explaining it. Um, not incorrectly, but a little bit backwards. Uh, you still do, um, you know, RX from the receiver to TX on the board and TX from the receiver to RX on the board. But you have to, you have to jump. You go, uh, there's an R2 on this board. There's no T2. So you go, you attach on the flight controller, you attach to, attach to uh, T1 and R2. Then you go in beta flight and enable UR2, change it to, you know, serial receiver and then put crossfire in and you will uh you will be good to go it bound up uh it armed um it flew like a small bird with a belly full of bourbon 
Uh, and then the people helped me figure that out and get it flying right. Uh, now it flies fine. Um, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not bashing Emacs. I don't know if this was, wasn't right. Maybe I did something to it. And then after everything was fine, I went through and, uh, um, checked my update on beta flight, got the, uh, um, flight controller updated and now it's flying really good. Uh, really, really, really good. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to share that, say thank you to the ELRS group on Facebook. Uh, they even helped me diagnose problems that weren't related to um, radio signal transmission, stuff like that. Uh, you'll have a good day. If you have one of these, my, or if you want one of these, my advice would be if you can't buy it in a protocol you can buy two already, Crossfire, or ELRS, or whatever, and you think, Oh, I'll switch it. See if you can find a, a, a plug and play one that just <coughs> needs its own receiver. It hopefully then it will come with the little uh, you know, like Happy Model will have the the wiring for the receiver already on the board and uh, ready for you to just solder up your little receiver. I had to kind of find the pins and the drawback to this thing is that if it it weren't so hard to get under the canopy, but you have to take the whole thing apart. And that's just a lot to do something like that. So if you can't get it the way you can just bind to it and fly it and tune it, uh, I would see if they have one that was a, at least a plug and play so you didn't have to find a workaround for the onboard SPI receiver. All right. Thank you all. Enjoy.